hi guys and welcome to the Crufts vlog. I had absolutely no intentions of vlogging Crufts this year just because I didn't want to give myself too much extra work but then I was just like last year's Crufts vlog was good. I mean don't get me wrong I'm not a vlogger but it was um I feel like everyone enjoyed watching it and I've had a, quite a few messages from people saying will you be vlogging Crufts? So on the way to work when I was driving here this morning do you know what i'm gonna try and vlog the only thing with me in vlogging is i do forget to pick up the camera a lot um but we're gonna give it a go so it's wednesday today jay and rich went to crufts yesterday to set up me dan and abby are going today and um, to finish setting up um so yeah we are there Today to set up Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, it's actually my birthday tomorrow. So Crufts always falls. My birthday always falls on Cross Week, but it's never fallen on an actual day working at Cross before. But I'm fine with it. Um, it'd be nice to see lots of customers on my birthday. Um, so to manage to talk Dan into driving to Birmingham because I don't like motorway driving. Um, so I managed to talk Dan into driving my car and i think we're gonna get off in about an hour it's got a few little bits to do and hopefully i shall check in again when we're set up um or setting up and i can show you the stand we've had a brand new stand built this year um all credit to jay i've done nothing except like say yes and no jay's pretty much designed the whole thing alongside dan doing the artwork um he sent me some pictures yesterday it looks unreal so i'm super happy with it super excited so yeah, we'll see you probably in the car. Guys, we're just about to leave for crust, but look, we've got presents to open. It's an early birthday. So exciting. <laughs> we're currently on the way to the NEC. Um, me and Abby are being passenger princesses. Abby gives a wave to the left. Oh, that's, that's the right. <laughs> Somehow we've managed to fill the car with just our stuff, but we're only going for four days. Um, and the car is absolutely jam packed. Dan has been allocated the driver. I've got a big responsibility here. Dan <laughs> likes driving. I hate driving. Um, and Dan drives a lot um, I love to driving. Leeds every day. And I just wanted to be a passenger princess. So, um, also, we've just done my presents at work and Dan got me a Stanley Cup, guys, and it's like sage green. It fully matches my outfit. I've even got a green bow in my hair. I've got a green coat. I've got a green tracksuit. I've got <laughs> green trainers. I've got a green bag, and now I've got a green Stanley Cup. So I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Um, so yeah, our ETA for the um, for the NEC is half eleven. Um, Jay's just rung me. Apparently, the stands pretty much boxed off, which is amazing. Like going down on the Tuesday rather than the Wednesday is definitely something we're going to do every year I think because it just means that tonight we can actually like wind down normally we would be like setting up the stand to like seven and then going for food and then showering and then before you know it you're there and you've not had any like wind down time so it'll be nice to sort of get, get boxed off tonight and be able to actually sit and chill in the Airbnb and have some food and get showered and what have you ready for the manic week Ready, ready for the manic week. I'm really excited about Cross this year. I've brought everything possible for my achy body. I've she got back know. pads. I've got tag balm. I've got four edge strips. I've got deep heat. I'm prepared for the achy body. I do think though, so this year we're actually doing more like split shifts. And in previous years, all staff have started at eight and worked till six. And it's kind of pointless because obviously between eight and 10, there's not that many customers. So this year, we're doing like shift work so we're doing like if you start at eight you get to finish at like three um if you start at like 10 11 you finish at six so it just means that everyone gets like either a lie-in or a bit of an early finish can shop and stuff like that which i think could be really good yeah, i'm on like a really short days every day you're allowed to be <laughs> um <laughs> so i hope you just pat that chair he bought me he bought me a chair from Amazon. It's, and it, what it, is it, a camping chair? I don't know what it is, but it's called like a diamante chair or something. What? It's got diamantes on it. <laughs> but luckily, Adios are just um, over at road from us and they have like a little bit behind their stand. So I might be cheeky and say to them, can I put the chair behind there so that if I actually do need to chill and sit down <laughs> and have a minute, I can go there because I know as soon as I sit down on the stand, if a customer comes, I'm going to get back up. Yeah, you will. 
You don't so, know how to sit down. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to take it a bit easy. But yeah, we will should be there in about an hour and I will hopefully come back on the vlog, show you some of the stand before it gets a mess. So while it looks all pristine, super proud of the stand. Um, some content to get for the, the content creators back in the office. Yeah. Um, we've got some new products on the stand, which we weren't sure if they were going to arrive in time. We've managed to just pull it through. So that's exciting. Um, so yeah, that's my little update and we shall see you soon. Tour. Right, Jay's going to give us a stand tour. Right, so around the rear first, we've got more things from Teddy, got the iPad on the display, we've got all our, all our bum bags out on the display, mini canvas bag. That yeah. picture looks good. Yeah, the back is a shoppable area, so we've got everything that's going to start out. Richard did this, by the way. It looks sick. So, it looks so area. good. So, um, we've Even these, you know them pink things, they look good, don't they? The bolt things. Yeah, yeah. Got red there. Same again. Boom bags, canvas bags, big walking on here. We've got some one for the one places. iPad and video on there. Down here, we've got a piece of the tilt. Bags, human apparel. It looks so good. And inside, just done these displays. Oh, I like how you've done piglet under piglet. Did you mean to do that? Yeah, we changed it. Change there. We've got under storage here for clothes. Um, doubled up on the treat pouch because that's the sellout item. Then yeah. It looks so good. Well done. Hi everyone, so um nearly set up but I thought I'd come and show you all the, the dogs of the stand this year. Hello. So here, up here. This dog here is called Spud. He's a Dalmatian. So we've got him there. Let's take you around the back. We've got Red Puppy. Look at him. We've got Ralphie. Oh, uh, that was not Red, that was Ralph. That's Ralph. Oh, sorry, Ralph. That's Ralph. Yeah, no. It's because I was looking on the on the phone. Then we've got red puppy. Oh, thank you. I, I've got all this myself. <laughs> then we've got little Jasper. He's a handsome boy. And then around the corner, we've got Penny. I didn't. I couldn't decide whether that's Penny or Freya, but that's Penny. And then round the front, we've got good boy Ollie. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six dogs. So there we go. I also want to show you this product, guys. So, this is our new Walkies Ready boot bag, which is lovely. It's pink and green, and I bought these boots a couple of weeks ago for spring, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to save them for crufts and use them to display in the um, boot bags. Because they look so nice in there. They've got such a nice line in as well and we've actually opted for like an additional strap so they're easier to carry. Love. So this is a fine example of who do you think did well on XL at school and who didn't? XL? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> and who did well? <laughs> Who's good at IT? <laughs> On you my hands and knees. You could be a toolbox, aren't you, love? On my hands and knees. Hey, do you know what? I'll tell you one thing about Jay. He can put up a photo for him. Oh, he can, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jay's, really, oh, Jay's really happy with his little lights that he's got. It's Look, all it touches, isn't it? Looks lovely, that does, Jay. 16 hours on time. 16 hours, and then what we're going to do? We'll charge him up in it. Oh, will we? <laughs> Jay, on a scale of one. Jay, on a scale of one to ten, how happy are you with your stand? I'm happy that we... Can you buy the dying? 
Jay, your lights, oh, is, your lights aren't very good, mate. Jay, out of 10, how much do you love your stand? Do you love your stand more than me? Yeah. <laughs> I just love that it's all come together. Give us a smile then. Jay, give us a smile. Thumbs up for a picture. <laughs> We've just reached our accommodation for our little stay. I'm not going to give you a full house tour because it's not that interesting, but we're going to do a little mini house tour, all right? So I'm going to spin you around one second. So come in, this is a hallway. We've got a double room in here, which is going to be Richard's. We've got me and Jay in here. Hello. Um, through here, we've got a downstairs bathroom. And then in here, we've got a kitchen, little breakfast bar, vibe. It's got a little garden to be fair, which I don't think we'll be spending that much time in. But it's got a swing. It's got a swing and a slide. And then if we veer off here to the left, we've got dining table, little chill area. It's quite nice to be fair. It's giving um it's giving a little bit like Victorian. Then you've got stairs. And we've got a bathroom just at the top here. It's got a bead here. Another double bedroom. Another double bedroom. And a little single bedroom. I think this one's better because of the light in here. And you've got a little seat in here, so I think you should do um I think you should do rock, paper, scissors. Go on. <laughs> so that's our little house tour, guys. Hi, everyone. We finished the stand up quite early. I think we finished at five. <coughs> oh, it might have been earlier, like half four. And so we like checked into the Airbnb quite early. So I do feel like we've had a bit of wind down time, but I get really overstimulated when I'm not like in my own house on my own <laughs> I like to be on my own a lot and I love to make content on my own and I get so like overstimulated by being around too many people so I, I felt that tonight has been quite like overwhelming for me so I'm just having a little wind down and put a cup of tea in bed my baby is giving me the worst heartburn ever um but I'm just gonna try to get a good night's sleep I've got my pregnancy pillow Honestly, if you're pregnant, you need one of these. Um, so good. But um, it's actually my birthday tomorrow. I think I've told you already. Um, so me and Jay are gonna go for breakfast together. And then we're gonna start a little bit later. Like at like half 10, 11-ish. I've got really red cheeks. But I will definitely vlog tomorrow. And bring you along hopefully remember to pick the camera up i'll probably get a bit shy in front of customers but yeah i'm just gonna try and get a good night's sleep but i've got such bad heartburn um and it's always night time when the baby moves so much he literally kicks from like 11 till 2 for like three hours straight every night so that's fun but um nicola who's working on the stand has got me a little pillow spray so I sprayed that all over my pillow and my pregnancy pillow I've got my Stanley cup and I'm gonna get my head down see you tomorrow good morning happy Thursday so it's day one of crooks and it's also my birthday Ooh. um I had the worst night's sleep um Rich Nick Dan and Abby Went to open the stand, they set off at 7 o'clock this morning and I've had, not online because I was wide awake at like 6am, but I've had a bit of a steadier morning. Me and Jay are meant to be in for brekkie, but we've got problems at the office, so I don't know if we're going to go or not, but what's newer? This is the outfit of the day, the bump is bumping. Um, my shoes match really well and my Primark socks. Um, so yeah, I've got a little bow in my hair, I'm absolutely obsessed with wearing bows in my hair at the minute. I mean, wash my hair for the occasional one since it's the birthday and day one of cross, but hopefully I'll take you along today. Hope to get my camera out. And I'm really excited. 
how insane is it that I get to spend my birthday surrounded by dogs? It's like a birthday party dream come true. <laughs> it's 9.30 in the morning. We're just gonna head for a bit of a birthday brekkie. Happy birthday. Thanks mate. 32 I am. Oh, yeah? yeah? Look at the lines in my forehead. <laughs> um, Locking on. I'm getting that sorted in June. Just joking. Um, right, we're just going for a bit quick brekkie. What's the place called that you're taking me to? Bloom. Bloom for a fine dine. Bloom, Bloom actually, in Solihull. I'm actually not that hungry. But, um, oh, yeah. Might show you what I get. If I feel confident enough. Um, so yeah, we'll have our little brekkie and then we're going to head to the NEC. Say bye. See ya. Mine. So Jay's got his brekkie, he's a happy lad. What have you got? I have a toast. I have a toast, some eggs and a flat white. And I've got beetroot hummus, avocado toast. And it's lovely. Little bit of an update. We've just arrived at the NEC. It's about quarter to 11. So we've had a nice little morning, haven't we, to celebrate to my birthday. Lovely morning. Yes. Lovely morning. Now we're going to go to work. Now we're going to work. We're on the late shift. Um, Dan has been sending me updates, we can't walk that past you, okay. so Dan. Dan's been sending me updates and we basically sold out of all the walkies ready fleeces that we took for the full weekend. We've, um, I think she said we've got like one green beanie hat left, the pink new bum bags are selling out really fast. <clears throat> it's a bit worrying, but do you know what? You do come to cross to, to go home with no stock, so um, I suppose it's a good thing. What's the point in the van, isn't there? Last year, do you remember? We took, I don't know how many boxes of stock. Say if we took 100 and it was like 120, 130, we went home with 14. So hopefully we'll be doing that again on Sunday. Which made me happy because it added a need to. Yeah, they're putting away the stock at the other end's hard work and all of it. Yeah. So the less that we go on with the better really. Yeah. Um so yeah, we've got anything else to update everybody on. This is the vlogs so that they won't watch this until like they'll watch this all at um, once. Um obviously first morning looking forward got to. Got my picnic bag, show everyone my picnic bag. We take it everywhere. What have you got in there, Soph? Ham sandwiches. Yeah. Um, Walkers corn cocktail. Yeah. Derrily dunkers. Yeah, you have got a picnic, can't you? I've just got rich um, cheese sandwich, blessed dark from Greg's. Yeah. And um, I've got the Stanley Club here, look, that Dan bought me. Look how much it matches the coat that I've got on, which is. In fact, you've got my coat on, I've got your coat on. Oh well. Um, Anyway, we're just heading in, so we'll um, over now. We'll give you an update when we get their names. Okay. Um, bye. Hi guys, so don't judge me. I'm wearing the same pajamas that I wore last night, and I've absolutely failed at vlogging today. Not vlogged since I arrived at the NEC this morning. The day just went. I might have like a little bit of footage I think, but um. But we've just, we've been out to tea, then we came back, we had some cake, and then we, Rich and Jay started to do a replan of for tomorrow, like a restock, and then I've organised it all with Jay, and we've put it back on the van, and we're just going to bed, it's midnight, very tired, are you tired? Tired. <laughs> so maybe I'll be better at vlogging tomorrow, goodbye. So guys, I've just realised I didn't vlog from 11 o'clock yesterday morning and I've not vlogged again today. This it's, is a joke, I can't it's, it's Friday now and it's 4 o'clock. 
me and Dan have just finished. I'm a nervous wreck in this car, Dan guys. Is, Dan's <laughs> driving the car again because Dan's just the... Dan's paying, sure. Dan's paying for my coffee because I've got no money. She's driving my car. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm just getting a Starbucks. Just fancied a nice Starbucks. I'm getting a cold one because I haven't. Known. Spring is coming. Um, Sounds about right, that. Coffee frappuccino, decaf. Thank you. Um, but I've not no, shown you. you any of crust yet with customers or anything. I could actually insert a bit of footage, actually. I got a little bit yesterday. Did you? But it's not very interesting. Have you done like a day in life today? Because you've been no, doing them. No, not done it. No. You know, I'm flagging a bit now. I'm yeah, I, start, I started this vlog off strong. Yeah, you get a bit tired, tired early as a day. Mm. On. Tomorrow is the day to get the, get the vlog content. Yeah, it's because it, it's because it's so chaotic. Like when you've got customers waiting for stuff, it doesn't feel like natural to then just start like vlogging it because yeah. then your customers would be thinking, "Well, I need some help," and you're just vlogging. And you also don't know who's comfortable on a camera. I was mm. walking around trying to film like the queue and stuff, and I was like, "What if someone tells me off?" <laughs> yeah, you don't really think of that, really. Yeah. So I'll try better tomorrow. I might show you a little bit of this evening. We're going to stay in this evening. I think we're all pretty feeling it, and we just want to like shower, pajamas, comfies. We're gonna just um, make some food and just like chill I think yeah that's the plan of action um before another busy day tomorrow we're actually running quite low on stock which is good and bad yeah if I ever come across I'm definitely coming on a Thursday when what, everyone's got, yeah when yeah. everyone's got the most stock yeah 100%. so I think some people want to come on a Sunday because they think they might be like show offers but if there's no stock left then there's no point being there is even there? the people that were exhibiting got the word they were around shopping on Thursday morning straight away. We had people really? coming to PPB that were obviously to get had their the own stuff. stands, yeah. Yeah. Before it all goes. So yeah, um, I'll update you all later, but that was my little check-in at four o'clock on Friday. Bye. <laughs>
vlogger. She's a good one. Um, but yeah, last day, currently 7 7.39, we're just making our way in. Had a little bit of a, um, I was going to say lion, but we haven't really, have we? vlogged any of Cruz, like literally none of inside of Cruz. Um, it's Sunday and it's actually been quite quiet today um, compared to the other days. Um, our stand is looking very, very picked over. There's not a lot of stock left, um, but I am going to go show you what stuff we do have left. Um, so we came with like 500 of these sweatshirts and Nick, how many sweatshirts have we got left? We've got seven sweatshirts left. So if you want to come get a sweatshirt, you've got your choice between seven of them that's left. Um, the stall's looking picked over in it, Ab. We've not got a right lot. We have, however, got our new walkies ready collection over here, and Dan has managed to merchandise some leads to go with them because the leads that actually do go with them have sold out. So she has popped the piglet lead with the pink harness and she's popped the 100 acre lead with the 100 acre collar. I feel like that is working, that's definitely a vibe. So Dan can add merchandise to, to, to her CV. Um, so yeah, this is actually the first time that I've managed to jump on a vlog actually on the stand. Um, because when it's too busy, I feel like it's rude to jump on a vlog. And then when it's too quiet, I'm like, well, there's no one on the stand. I don't really want to show you, but we're definitely having a steadier day today. Thursday, Friday was crazy. Yesterday was busy, but like quieter on the stand. And then today's been pretty steady away. So I um, thought I'd just do a little check-in and I'll see you soon. So guys, we've just taken five on the floor with Red and Ralph. Babes, give us a wave. We've got the lifesaver. Oh, look at Red with a bottle. She's so happy. Ralphie! 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 Oh, yeah! Oh, good boy! You know what's going to happen? Yeah. Smiling. He's got a little matching harness on. Yeah, she loves it. It's actually her favourite. Hello, everyone. Um, so, very professional of me closing the vlog in my pyjamas. Two weeks later after Crofts has finished. Um, I'm currently on holiday in the Lake District and I've just edited this vlog. Um, so it's ready to be uploaded to YouTube now. Um, we've come away for a few days to the lakes just to chill. Um, it's been a really busy couple of months. So this is kind of like our little holiday. We was going to go abroad, but we didn't want to leave Ruben and Betsy. So we've come to the lakes and we're just going to do nothing much. And... Um, just kind of like some steady dog walks, some chills, relax. So of course in full sort of style, I start editing and doing work, but sometimes I like to have a bit of time on my hands to like actually sit and watch a vlog and make sure that I'm kind of happy with it. But I'm definitely not a professional vlogger, <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoy what I have put together for you and hopefully see you on the next vlog.